Wilson Mraz, blackfilm.com. Blackfilm.com, but yeah, this is yeah. not just a black film. Don't come in here being racist, man. Okay, it's a film for everybody, Wilson. This is. is a why did you accuse him of this that? Is your fourth Wilson is together. my guy. Wilson has supported me from the beginning of my career. So that's, you know, this is your fourth time working together. What makes it so special? You can come back and do it again. Ah, uh, we're we're friends, man. We, is we this love our fourth time? Movies. Yeah, this fourth time. Really? It's fourth time. Because it feels like ten or eleven at least. Why it just, would you? It, it just meaning feels. It's, Meaning it's been a long like we've been trip? working together forever. As in not good? Maybe I mean, we should what take is, a break. What's your point? Maybe we should. Wh why would you? I didn't want to do this in front of everybody, Tim. But then I why are you space. doing it? You didn't. You didn't have to do space, it. You Tim. chose to do it. It's been a long <laughs> journey. At what point? Wilson is good. Let me tell you, Wilson will not let us hijack his interview. He knows he's got a set amount of time, and he is focused. He's been doing it. That's a pro right there. Did you know a sequel is going to be in place? Uh, we knew it quite quite early. You know, we showed the film to the studio and an audience, and literally when we came out of there, we were pretty confident that we were going to uh, have to come up with a new idea. We did. The audience immediately it just it resonated with them. They loved it. The studio was really open and receptive. So we actually shot Ride Along 2 the same year that Ride Along 1 was released. That doesn't, doesn't happen, happen a lot. Hollywood doesn't move that fast. Now, Kevin is the most funniest guy right now, and it seems like we only have one black comedian out there. He is the funniest guy. What makes him out there that brings in an audience? You know, that brings in, a, you know, makes you the highest grossing black nerd out there? Well, he's just, he's funny. Like, at some point, you need a comedian that can come in and make any scene. Like, Kevin has said it to me, and, and it's true. Like, he can take any situation and find the humor in it and just make you laugh. And when you have something like, someone like that that you're working with, it makes my job extremely easy. And, and Kevin's just like, he's just, you know, there's not a lot of him that are going to come along. Are you the highest grossing black director ever? Yeah. Like, of all time? Highest, you know, two Fantastic Fours. Really? Two like a man's, really? You know, this movie. Really? You know? Wow. Okay. At present. <laughs> More than like, what about Hype Williams? And what about yourself? You know, Rick, talk to me about working Robert like Townsend. Studio. No? But it's weird because you owe me money, Tim, and I feel like this I, is I figured a good it was time going somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, if you're the uh, highest grossing black director, where is he in terms of black and white directors, like of all time? I don't know the numbers. Of no, we, I feel like you should right pay now, me. Though. I don't know. I would, I've been waiting and I didn't want to bring it up. But, but you I don't owe, me owe the money. you anything. I don't owe you anything. You do. You do. So you, so you <laughs> brought Ice back. You brought, you know, Kevin Hart. Talking about bringing in Ken, Olivia, you know, what they brought to the table. Well, look, we were looking for uh, some, some, pe some great actors to bring in and kind of connect with this family that we've already created with, with Cube and Kevin. And when you got Ken Jeong, who brings his own brand of comedy to it, and then you've got Olivia Munn, great actress, who also is really funny, you know. And then you have Benjamin Bratt, who was the, great, the greatest villain in, in the world for this film. So we just uh, brought some people that we thought would mix well with our guys, and they did. They turned it out. It was great. Now, should this movie do well, and Universal is great at doing franchises, Where's the next one going to take place? We got to go out of the country. You think? Yes, someplace amazing. All right, like where? Someplace sexy. Give it to me. Where? Someplace that everybody's going to want to go with us. All right, where you want to go? I want to go to Brazil. Really? Yes. You think this cast could survive Brazil? No, but that's not the point. <laughs> you know, it could be a short film at that point. But, but you know, he's the highest grossing black director, he so he can, you know. Let's go to Dubai. More than Matty Rich? Here's a curveball question. It's not official yet, but how come you don't want to throw your name in for Black Panther? Ah, oh, you know, um, you know, I'm, I must admit, I'm loving what I'm doing right now. You know, the 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 family that I have with with Cuban Kevin and Will, and and um, I, I kind of just look for whatever moves me. You know, I kind of like I'm not really looking to chase anything. I'm trying to look and do my own stuff that uh, makes me feel good. But if they asked you, would you say yes or no? Um, if the the script and the idea is right, absolutely. Thank you, man. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Wilson. <laughs>